Hard drive space. Always an issue for every single editor, every single creative person out there is managing hard drive space. I personally currently have an issue with running out of internal hard drive space in my desktop computer, which has almost six terabytes of storage space. Now, what do most of us do? Well, most of us grab drives like these and you put your projects on it. This is a four terabyte, this is a one terabyte, and then I have another four terabyte for archival. These are great, they're self-powered, you know, when you plug them into the computer or to your laptop, you know, nice, you can slap a label on them, throw them on the shelf. You can use them for any project. Fairly quick, they're reliable for editing off of. You put your footage, your graphics, everything you need for a project on one, and it's a self-contained, and you can buy a bunch of one terabyte to two, four, six terabytes, and they're not that expensive, you know, especially if you're doing a lot of different jobs and you want to keep it all self-contained, and you can buy two at a time and use one as your active and one as your storage or archival basis. Great. It's not sitting on your actual computer or your laptop while you're on the go. They're easy to ship. They're easy to take with you. You can find them pretty much everywhere. Walmart, Best Buy, you can order them off of Amazon in the bulk. Great, simple solutions. But let's say you want to get a little bit more creative. Well, then you have the Drobo setups, NAS setups, you have the cloud setups, which you can get 8, 10, 12, 16, you know, 20 terabyte setups. Drobo, where it's hot swappable. Well, I don't want to say they're hot swappable because I don't remember if they are or not. But there are some cages out there that are hot swappable. You can get the, the two docks uh, style, the single uh, style, and slap in um, SATA drives, three and a half. Uh, drives in there. They're meant to go inside your computer, but now you can just put it in a, in a dock. And that's what I'm looking to go into next, is getting just a simple dock set up and be able to swap uh, hard drives in and out. Because I can get a Western Digital uh, internal drive, 7200 RPM, for 100 bucks, 150 bucks for like a 2 or 4 terabyte. And that's plenty for a project, as I was saying. With like those, those are great, but I can use those here at the house as a backup solution. That's what I think I'm going with. I love a Drobo setup, but at three to $600 uh, without any kind of drives, it's a little more expensive than I want to spend right now. Uh, you can get a dock for anywhere from 20 to 60, 70 dollars off of Amazon, B&H, um, Best Buy. You can easily pick those up. They're USB 3 type C connections, I believe and they run straight into your desktop or your laptop computer. It really depends on what you want to do, but that's my little rant on it. Um, it's very simple, but I definitely cannot stress this enough. Always back up, always archive, always have double storage of your stuff. Back in the day, I used to have a ton of the My Books. Um, I've got a bunch right here. I probably have like nine or 10 of these somewhere. I only have like two or three sitting here used to use these exclusively because they were rugged. They would take a beating. Um, I actually had a couple of them get wet, uh, only on the case, not the connection pieces. Um, but these were great. Uh, these were solid back in the day when getting a 500 or a terabyte seen as obscene and crazy. Um, this one, I think, is only a 500, maybe a 750. Yeah, 500. But I have like four of these that are 500 gigs and they're full to the max of old footage and old projects. And maybe I should do that one day. Do an entire vlog where I go back and just watch some of my old stuff and put clips of it up there so you can see how bad I was in the beginning. And I'm still kind of bad at this time. Let's be honest, I'm not perfect. That's a whole nother topic for a whole nother vlog. This one is about memory storage. Either way you want to do it, you want to spend $1,000 on a RAID system and everything, go right ahead. It's going to last you longer. They fail very, very seldom. Uh, I'm searching for that word. But at the same time, they do have their issues and their drawbacks. The high cost, you have to know kind of what system you want to set it up in. Is RAID 0, 1, 2, any of those all the way up to 10. Bunch of different settings, always something to look into. There's a couple of tips. Uh, there's a couple of videos out there that are pretty good. I highly suggest going to B&H, F-Stoppers, uh, DSLR Shooter. Some of those guys actually do very good in-depth technical reviews of some of this equipment. Otherwise, go the tried and true method. Just buy a couple of these at a time and back up and then label them per whatever project they are. I think I'm gonna format one of these and just turn it into my video blogs only. And then that way I know everything is backed up there. Especially the footage wise, which I'll go and pull at other times for demo reels, for uh, client pieces, and it's just general B-roll. 
but that way I know that they're there and they're labeled and they're easy to find. The bigger systems that you go into, if you stack everything in one spot, only on like a 10 terabyte drive, and that drive erupts or has a power failure or anything like that, you've now lost a lot of your stuff. Whereas this, those are very manageable to only lose a very small select uh, sample of your work. A lot of people put them in uh, fireproof boxes in their house and safes. They put them in uh, safety deposit boxes, PO boxes. And they just keep them stored there, UPS, FedEx stores, banks, anything like that. All great solutions, all great things to do, depending on how valuable is your footage in your work. If you're working for clients that want to constantly call you and ask you to recut something, or they need you to hold on to the footage and everything, then definitely look at something like that. If you're doing this for fun, you're doing video blogs where, okay, it's not, it, yeah, it hurts to lose footage or have a hard drive fail, but it's not the end all be all, then you can go with something a little more easy to manage, like something like that. So that's my rant, that's my understanding. I hope that helps. If not, leave a comment, tell me it didn't help you whatsoever and that I'm the worst at this and I'll no longer do tech talks, that's fine. But thanks for joining me. You guys have a wonderful day. I'm gonna get back to uh, backing up and archiving and doing my own research and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.